Hi, it's me, Bamp, and if you came here just to see the gameplay of my first, um, Void Fissure mission, then just scroll on a bit ahead, because I'm going to clip it at the end of this video, it's going to be just a clip-on thing, but... Before that, I just want to share my opinions. There, um, okay, so I've seen people do this type of mission once or twice while, you know, on the YouTube. But it is totally different than what I expected in a way. First of all, I expected it to be Everyone rush, hardly no, um, hardly no reactant things that you need, drop, everyone, every man for himself, leave you behind. I expected to fail the first mission because everyone forgetting about the target or something. But no, none of that happened. It all went very smoothly. I got some void traces. I did use necros, but to be honest, necros isn't a requirement. I just happen to have him right now, and that's the frame I'm using. I'm pretty sure it, well, it was stressful for me going in. I'm pretty sure that's only because of the fact that I expected so many many bad things, but, hey, nothing bad happened, so, yeah, I'm actually going to stop talking here, um, well, after I say this last bit, and I'm going to clip on gameplay of my first Void Fissure mission on the end so yeah enjoy later There is a prisoner here that is vital to our operations. Search for the holding location. There are void fissures in the area. Use these to crack open the weather. You're near a fissure. They're dropping reactant. Use it to crack open the weather. Keep fighting. Look for more reactant.
relic. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. Not a minute too soon. Prisoner updated. We need to get them back to command in one piece. Find your way to the exits, and don't leave the subject behind. Don't suppose you have an extra gun? Mission complete. The hostage is safe now. Let's get out of here. 